Over the weekend, Caitlin Flaherty became just the seventh Big Ten women's hoops player to eclipse the 2,500 point mark in her career. And the Michigan senior joins us now to talk about her record setting uh, season. Caitlin, thanks so much. Now, you not only hit that mark, you also uh, had a pretty special celebration. Glenn Rice recognized you as Michigan's all time leading scorer, men and women. What was that moment like for you? Um, I mean, it was just incredible. It's really hard to put into words. Um, being able to be surrounded by people like him, like I said, is just incredible. Um, to be able to do this at such a prestigious university, it's an honor. It just attests to all my hard work, and I definitely wouldn't be in this position without my teammates or my coaches and the fans and the supporting staff all around me. So I'm just really appreciative of it. Have you been able to even just maybe just take a moment now? I know you've been busy during the season to really just think about you know, how big these milestones are for you, and are you kind of just shaking your head like, wow, this is crazy, I've accomplished it? Yeah, um, I really haven't taken a chance yet, just like you said. It's pretty busy right now, and my main focus is just to win games and um, just to be better as a team, and I think we've done really well thus far this season, and that's been um, kind of the high point for me, and I think it's incredible um, to break these records while we're doing so well, the best we've ever done since I've been here. Um, I mean, that's just you know, exciting in itself. But I think definitely after the season, it'll set in more. But I, especially yesterday, walking out in the court um, with Glenn Rice, it was, it was really a moment where I was like, wow, this is pretty surreal. So I think that was kind of the first time it's set in so far. Okay, so you, you hit that milestone, and then last week you guys got a top 10 win over your rival Ohio State that broke a four-game losing streak to them, and you did it in Columbus as well. What did you see from your teammates that perhaps you haven't seen at all this season so far in that game? Yeah, um, I think we're just really playing well together. You know, we're learning to, even if we make mistakes, we can move on to the next play. The game's a long game, and I think we've had trouble doing that and executing down the stretch. Also, when we're not scoring, just focusing on getting defensive stops, and I think this team has really bought into that this year. Uh, we're just having a lot of fun. Um, our chemistry is building, and I think that's, you know, a lot of the reason why we're being so successful right now. I read somewhere, too, that you said that's a win you're going to remember for a while. As a senior, knocking off your rival, where does that win rank in terms of your Michigan career? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely up there between that and the WNIT. Um, I mean, Ohio State has great players. Kelsey Mitchell, who is breaking all the records. Um, and her surrounding support um, over there, I mean, they're great. It's fun to play them always. And coming up short, the past couple of years has been tough, especially this one at home. Um, we definitely didn't forget it. And just to be able to go there and pull out a win, uh, things didn't go perfect the whole game, but just to stay strong, fight through adversity, I think was one of the best experiences I've ever been a part of here. Now, for you, you're one of the best shooters in the country, not just only in the Big Ten, but in the nation. I'm sure there's a lot of younger players now that are looking up to you in terms of, you know, working on their shot. If you could pick a current player, it could be pro or college, who you looked up to in terms of their shot, that you could play in a game of horse, who would you pick? Definitely Steph Curry. <laughs> um, he's, a, he's a great shooter, but I would love to challenge him. I think that would be awesome. I just really admire his game, whether it's his shooting, how he gets open, how he handles the ball. So I think that would be really awesome to do that. You think you can get him in that? Yeah, I think so on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, appreciate the time. Congratulations, too, to uh, all the accolades, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you very much.